Hi, my name is Peter Thompson from Photo Continental. In this first tutorial, I'm going to actually show you how to simply and easily weld individual letters, shapes and designs together ready to cut on the inspiration from puzzles. Firstly, I take my puzzle inspiration sticky mat. It's a 12 by 12 mat. It's got a sticky surface on it so that when I place my paper or material down onto it, it sticks down and holds in place. So I really don't want it moving around while it's actually cutting. I load it in by simply placing it within the little gauge there, into there, and pressing the little load button there. And you'll see it loads to the top right hand corner of the actual paper. Then I go to the software. Puzzle Inspiration Studio. Start a new document. And it'll actually ask you what type of size I would like to do. I have a 12 by 12 piece of paper here, so I can go 12 by 12 inches. There's two different ways I can actually weld text together. And I'll show you both. Let's use our word happy. Over here, I have true type fonts. These are the fonts that I will find in my computer. Also, I do have some puzzle fonts which come with the software. Let's select Antique Olive. Pop that onto the screen there. Now, as I mentioned, there's two ways. Go to my text menu. I can break text by character or I can visually text space. Visual text spacing is like on-screen kerning. It allows me to essentially just take that and drag it across to overlap my letters. I can grab the individuals as I need to and drag those over at the same time. I can do individuals or all at once. Once I'm happy with that, I go to my join selected element or my welding tool, click on it and you can see very quickly and very easily how that has joined all those letters together to make one word. Now as I mentioned, there's another way to do it as well. My same letter, same word again. This time I'm going to break text by character. Now these all become individual letters. So I can place those then up, down, wherever I like. I can even double click and actually create a completely different font within if I want. Increase the size, bring him over there. And when I'm happy, zoom over the top, press weld, and hey presto, it's done. Let's just get rid of that one there. I move that then to the top of my screen, because this top point is generally where it would start to cut from. Now let's go to cut project. I select the actual type of paper that I'm using. So you'll see here that when I select the different papers, see how this is on three at the moment? At, we're actually going to just use a lightweight paper. So when I click on there, it tells me that I need to select a blade depth of one. Now if you just have a look here, I move these little blade depths here. So I can move this down now to one, and that's ready to go. I then say cut project. And the machine goes to work. I then release the paper, I release my mat using my little picking tool.
and there's my word, welded together, ready to go. Now that was done in literally a couple of minutes. In the next tutorial, I'm going to actually show you how to go one step further. We're going to take our word happy, and I'm going to actually give you a little bit of a shadow or a border to put around the outside, and maybe we'll even attach a, uh, a shape or two as well. So join me for the next tutorial. Until then, I'm Peter Thompson. Thank you.